her world changed this morning. Uh, her most proudest moment, her son graduating from the State Trooper Academy has changed everything. DPS Chief Frank Milstead there talking about his very difficult conversation this morning with Trooper Edenoffer's mother who also told the chief, you just got him. That was a quote, you just got yeah. him, meaning uh, he just graduated from the academy 52 days ago, less than two months ago, and was, of course, just starting his career. One woman who knows this pain all too well and this suffering, she can surely relate, Angela Harrell, her husband Bruce, was also a DPS trooper who died in the line of duty, and Jason Berry talked with her just a short moment ago. It must be bringing back a lot of painful memories. Absolutely, but Angela Harrell is using her heartbreaking experience to help other law enforcement families cope with these kinds of tragedies. Harrell is now the president of the 100 Club of Arizona, a nonprofit devoted to helping the families of first responders killed in the line of duty. It was back in October of 2008 that Harrell's husband, Bruce, was killed while rescuing two stranded hikers up in Sedona. The couple had two young children that Harrell was suddenly forced to raise on her own. We asked her what she will tell Trooper Edenhofer's fiance and mother whose lives have suddenly changed forever. This is the worst day of their lives. There's no doubt. And I just hope they know that there's a community that's going to surround them, that's going to literally bear hug them and never let them go. They are their new family. I wouldn't wish that kind of pain on anyone. But I believe with gratitude, you can figure out how to move forward and possibly be inspirational to another family that may end up in these same footsteps. Angela Harrell went on to say that the incredible support from the community made all the difference in pushing through the pain and grief of losing her husband in the line of duty. She told me it's important that Trooper Edenhofer's loved ones know that everybody deals with grief differently and there's no right and wrong way to cope with a tragic death like this. The most important thing is knowing they're not alone. In the newsroom, Jason Berry for Arizona's Family.